good morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another vlog i'm not sure how long this one is going to go on for i don't know if it will turn into like a weekly vlog because it is currently monday um and we have just got back from a cute little trip to amsterdam if you watched my last vlog you would have known that i went away with nivia to hamburg and then brad flew out to amsterdam to meet me for a couple of days so we just spent the weekend there um which was really nice but it was just so busy wasn't it yeah, really like busy. everywhere was a queue. Anywhere you wanted to go, you had to queue for it. And I'm talking like queues of like 50 plus people. Um, queues go like over the bridges. It is quite mad on a weekend. So I would say if you can get time off in the week to go, then I would go to Amsterdam in the week if you do especially want to visit all of the like popular spots but it was really nice like we just strolled around in the end the weather was okay um so we managed to just walk around and see the sights really but we are now back home we are actually now heading into town because we we're away for brad's mum's birthday so we are taking her out for brunch this morning at one of our favorites cafe number 33 if you're from Norwich then you'll know but we just need to head in a bit earlier and pick up a few prezzies for her and then on our way back we're going to pop into B&M so I thought I could bring you guys along to that because I'm assuming they have some new goodies in so yeah that is kind of our to-do list for this morning I can show you guys some house updates um, Brad has been very busy working on the house whilst I was away and it looks great it's coming together which is really nice um, but yeah we're gonna go and get some brunch and I will show you guys what we get up to So I'm back in the car. Um, Brad has just gone to get his hair cut because we've picked up all of his mum's stuff and we are now just waiting for our reservation. So we've got a little bit of time, so he's just rushed over to do that. But we were just walking around the shops and it's so nice that everything is super Christmassy. Like all the Christmas lights are out, all of the winter like scents are out in all the shops. Like we went into the white company and Fireside is back. Like honestly the best shop by this time of year like the candles are insane i really had to refrain from picking anything up today but i feel like i want to do a trip back into town soon and maybe deck out my house with a few christmasy bits but like i said we are going to be and i'm after this so i'm intrigued to see what we can find there um i feel like they'll have some nice stuff for christmas but yeah it just feels really nice and festive the weather is not great it is currently raining but it's cozy <laughs> the number 33 that we're going to as well is the newer one in chapelfield Gardens, so it'll be nice and cozy in there in the park but yeah i'm just currently sat here chilling i think i'm gonna catch up on my stories from amsterdam speaking of amsterdam i actually replaced a necklace that i lost a while ago i think i lost it in the move because the pendant of my bee necklace had come off and i literally kept it safe for like months like i want to say over six months i just kept forgetting to put it back on the chain and then we moved and i just have no idea where i've put it i'm honestly thinking that i've put it somewhere super safe and i just haven't found it yet i'm hoping but i thought i would replace it with this little one for now because i went into the by nuke shop i want to say it's called it's like a brand that i see all the time on social media like it's heavily advertised on tiktok on instagram i see it all the time and I didn't realise that they have loads of shops actually in Amsterdam. I think we saw about three like so close to each other. So it's obviously very popular there. But it was really cute and you basically get to choose like your chains, your charms. They have so many earrings. It's a really, really cute jewellery shop. So I picked up this which is just a tiny, tiny little bee. I don't know how well you can even see that. It is Diddy. And then I've got this one obviously that I had bought ages ago in LA I think I got this in Malibu but yeah this is my new initial necklace so I will link this because they obviously are online um if you guys are interested in just checking out their jewelry also while we're here I might as well give you guys a chin update because I know I mentioned what I got done in one of my recent vlogs and I feel like we are getting there I feel a lot more normal I feel so much better I think doing this job is very hard when in your head you're not probably the happiest like I think some people find it really easy to put a face on and I think I've learned that I'm really really not good at that like if I'm struggling a bit I really feel like I don't come across as myself on camera like I'm very almost like structured and it's everything to me sounds a bit scripted which it probably doesn't to you guys but I think I'm just really trying to chat about things and 
I'm not really like in it if that makes sense but I feel so much better now I think that had a massive part to play in why I was probably feeling like that sorry this coat is making me look like I'm an American footballer I do love it though it's from Tala it's like the reversible one so you can wear it either way anyway yeah I just feel like I've had a bit of a lull in many different aspects and I feel like I'm coming back which is a really really nice feeling but my chin is just from the side we obviously still have like a lump here and it's not necessarily like just skin like it's literally a lump of fluid from obviously getting the procedure done so i think i've still got at least two weeks before the results are meant to kick in anyway but i'm definitely seeing it like go down a lot like i say i feel a lot better um it's still a tiny bit not numb but i can obviously feel that there's fluid in there so yeah just an update on that because like i said in the other video if you are considering getting this or anything done if you missed it i got aqualix injections which are basically fat dissolving injections in my chin yes i know should have thought about it more probably didn't need it but we are where we are i just wanted to mention it to you guys because i just want everyone to like seriously think about anything that pops into your mind that you might want to tweak or get done just consider it for a long time before you jump into these things because like i say i am currently still waiting on the results it is a long old process but that is an update this is what i'm currently looking like Anyway, this is probably going to be a weekly vlog and very rambly considering I've just chatted to you guys for five minutes. So I will leave you here. I'll show you what we get for brunch um, and then I'll pick you back up when we had to be in it. Shopping and things that we need and some things that we maybe don't need, but we do need this, which is an under the sink storage cupboard because we have so much stuff in our bathroom that it's just out everywhere and it's really stressing me out. So we're gonna get one of these. Considering we only need it for about a month because we'll be doing the bathroom soon. But I don't want to be stressed out for a month. <laughs> and then we have a haul of random things. We have some milk, PG tips, walnut whips for my nan because she loves these. Bombers and some of these refills. Do we need a bin for the bathroom? I love coming in here and Brad literally hates coming in here. Like, <laughs> look at all these baskets that I could buy. A glittery toilet seat that really isn't doing it for me. <laughs> this is cute. I don't know what I'd put on it, but I could buy. Do you know what actually? I look at that and I think, brilliant. I'll get a brand new Fireside White Company candle, cute little tray, pop some like dried flowers on there, gorge. And then I need it. There is so much homeware in here. So many vases, like neutral vibes, black accents, and then more neutral vibes down there, which is cute. Oh, candles. I'm being judged. I never really thought like the B&M candles smell that nice, so I can't lie. Sunset. That sounds cute. Can we actually get the house ready first <laughs> before you start putting candles in? Smell. <laughs> Stinks. Oh, it's so cute candle there. Like the pot's cute. Might need to do a um, TK Maxx trip with some candles. If I told you how many candles I threw out on the last move, yeah, it was a lot. I'd be shocked. And yet. Emily still persists to buy more candles. Ooh, thank God I don't like any in here then. We've made it to the home section. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> Brad just walks past every time. But I have stopped at the mugs because how cute. We actually have two B&Ms in Norwich. Um, this is just the one near us and it's not as good, I can't lie, but these are very cute. I kind of love these ones. Mary, these plates are nice. I think these have been in here for a while actually. They're like the little scalloped ones, which are really sweet. They've got the matching small plates there. Right, you say I buy random stuff. Sitting in it and roast the Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, what the hell do you need that for? These are nice. The little jars, they're very cute. How much are they? £2.50. And then they've got these as well, which I have these ones for like our tea and sugar. Um, but these are just a bigger version. Loving the neutral vibes. One of these. 
an embossed dessert bowl. Don't need it, but want it. So it is now the next day and I have a very exciting delivery that has just arrived and Emma Sleep are actually very kindly sponsoring today's vlog. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about them and show you the products. So we are obviously currently renovating this house as we all know and we are working on the guest bedroom. I have ordered a bed for this room which I'm still waiting on but Emma Sleep have very kindly sent us over like a mattress, the topper, pillows, duvet, everything you could need for a really nice night's sleep at somebody else's house. I'm honestly like borderline jealous of the guests that we're gonna have sleeping in this bed because Emma Sleep mattresses are honestly insane because they just provide you with the best night's sleep and to prove that point they actually have a 200 night trial so if you want to test them out you can test them out for literally 200 nights and then if you're not happy you can let them know and return your mattress so to me that seems like a fair test they also do have a 10 year guarantee as well which is obviously amazing we personally in this bed right now have the emma sleep duvet and i love the technology behind all of their stuff basically it keeps you like temperature regulated so you're not too hot you're not too cold the mattresses themselves are made up of five layers and they support you in seven different zones so they have spinal support and also like I say the temperature regulation is a massive factor in the mattresses too the pillows also have all this technology too and we did go for the microfiber ones because they give you that real like hotel feel like you just sink into them they're super comfortable they're also super durable and really lightweight as well which is nice we have the topper for the mattress too we genuinely have been kitted out by these guys and I'm so excited to put this all together we will of course document the whole process when the bed finally arrives and we can bring our guest bedroom to life but if you are interested in switching out your mattress i feel like it's one of those jobs that we all put off forever if it's something you want to take off now emma sleep have a massive discount for black friday and their deals are currently sitting at 65 percent off but if you use my discount code which is emily philpot bf you will then grab yourself an extra five percent off so i will leave a link to all of the products directly down below in the description make sure you're using my discount code to either treat yourself or your guests with a brand new mattress and a huge thank you to emma sleep for sponsoring today's video hi guys it's been a few days it's now actually friday we obviously went out on the monday and had brunch with brad's mom we've had to be honest quite a jam-packed week with like the house and stuff um i've literally been in catch-up mode with work i've also been ill again this week i don't know what is going on but it's probably tmi which is why i'm relaxing to talk about it but basically i've always been like low in iron which i've known for years um because of my periods and stuff because i lose a lot of blood it's meant that i'm like borderline anemic and like i say have been for ages so i've recently started regularly taking my iron tablets again because i noticed that i was getting really sick i was feeling dizzy like i was feeling all the signs of being low in iron and for some reason it's like really really messing with my stomach and i've never had ibs before but my god when i explain this to other people they're like you've got a bad case of ibs so yeah really randomly i just get hit with like it's not a certain food that i'm eating it's not anything that i've changed apart from regularly taking my iron tablets and i know every medicine can have like every side effect ever it affects everyone completely differently um but i'm just really confused as to whether it is this they are the same tablets that i've taken before and i've never had this issue so yeah i don't know what it is but i had that again this week so i kind of had like a day wiped out we caught up with matt and georgia recently and ben and zell and the babies um, which is really nice. We haven't seen our friends for a little while because obviously we've been away like here, there and everywhere. So it was nice to catch up with everyone at home. But yeah, I don't know why I haven't really picked up the camera this week. I feel like I've just not had too much to show or tell you, but I have literally just sat down to edit. I was literally about to film. I have just got ready to film a haul and I don't think you'll even be able to hear it on this vlog because it's weirdly not as loud in here as it is upstairs our neighbors are laying concrete or something like i literally cannot film over it you can hear it in the background so yeah i can't actually film the haul that i wanted to film so i'm going to edit my vlogs instead and get those live for you guys brad is busy in the porch which i'll show you guys because it has been updated since you would have last seen it obviously i'm sat in our snug which i'm obsessed with i love this room so much I think I also love the fact that I don't have to just work, sleep and eat in my bedroom anymore. Like we have another room in the house, um, which is so nice. It's just super, super cozy in here. If you didn't see the last vlog, you might not have seen this, but I will link that down below if you want to go and see like the ins and outs of this room. But it's looking good. We have a door in here now. Um, there's just like a couple of bits that we need to finish off. We still haven't hung the curtains properly. Brad did find the brackets whilst I was away so we can pop them up because they're currently just balanced on two nails and I'm literally waiting for 
the whole poles come down on us while we're catching up on Big Brother. I do also have some other updates with the house, which I never really know how to approach these things because I'm always fully aware that when you say something online, people take it as gospel. And if you change your mind on things, sometimes people read into things or they're like annoyed that you've changed your mind on things. Fully aware that majority are not like that. But um, obviously we bought this house with the intentions of building an extension out the back which if you guys have followed from the start you will know all of our plans with this house which majority of the plans we are sticking to and we're still doing in regards to the extension we have very recently decided that we are probably not going to do that um literally based on the fact that it is such a big investment like the money that goes into these things is ridiculous and we're not really going to gain a lot from it whether we choose to sell this house or whatever we decide to do with it it's a lot of money to put into it to then not really get it back out especially at the time of the current market this is all boring adult stuff but it is something you need to consider and it's something we have thought about we discussed while we were away and yeah i think we've decided that we're just gonna stick with the house as it is like the layout that it is and just kind of work with what we've got obviously we've updated so many of the rooms like even just decorating this house would add value it needed like revamping um any lick of paint everywhere and we will still rip the kitchen out we are still thinking of like knocking the middle wall down so we have a nice big open space to work with but yeah we're just not gonna do the massive project on this house again it's one of those situations where it's not gonna be our forever home this isn't the area that we want to live in forever so i don't know it's just not the house to do it in which is fine life decisions change and that is just one of the house decisions that has recently changed so i thought i'd fill you in on that because like i said i just feel like some people would then be waiting for us to do the extension and like be really excited for it and i feel like i'm letting someone down which i don't know why i feel like that i think it's just because i've like once said it so now i feel like i need to stick to that which is just not the case so i'm trying to remind myself of that um and i thought i'd just fill you in like i say but let me go and show you the porch and show you what brad has done because I think he's actually then going to be painting it today. Um, and then we've got his family coming over for dinner, which will be nice because they haven't seen the house for a while. So I'm hoping they'll come in and be like, wow, it looks so different. I imagine they're like, oh, what have you done? <laughs> come with me. <laughs> Just watch a step because we do not have um, on-site safety rules. There's no HR here. Ta-da! <laughs> we have a bench. Well, it's, a workbench yeah, right it's now. currently looking like a workbench, but it's not going to be a workbench. It's going to be like a shoe cupboard. We can't really show you it properly, but basically, I'll show you this later because I think Brad's going to paint in here now, but um, this lifts up and then it's just like a big storage cabinet really, but a bench at the same time. Mm -hmm. Brad literally built this from scratch. We're going to do some panelling up here mm -hmm. above it with like the groove, tongue groove slats to make it more of a feature mm -hmm. and then we'll put the big mirror in like you want. Yeah, I've got my old Zara like puddle mirror, which I think we're gonna put here. So we just have something to like look at as we're running out the door. Yeah. And then maybe some hooks on this wall or something. Yeah. But yeah, that'll all be slatted. Yeah, so this will be white. This will stay white and then this will be a pebble stone. I would probably be more inclined to do over like, the right top. Over. We've also had Matt, the builder and electrician in and he has given us some spotlights in the porch, which look great. They, on camera and in pictures, they look really blue, like a blue light. Yeah. It's not because we have the blue tape on because it looked like that before the blue tape was there, but they are like a warm white. And we did just have like a hanging pendant in here and these work a lot better, so. This is how the hallway is looking. You guys saw this in the last vlog, so you would have seen the paneling that Brad did down here. And then I mentioned that we're gonna be wallpapering this section, which has arrived, which I'll show you in a second. But Matt also popped in these wires they're all channeled into the wall ready for our wall lights that are going to go on here so i'll pop a picture on screen of those they're just from dunelm um and they just need to be fitted on when they arrive and then the wardrobes are still yet to be panelled but we're thinking of going for like a pretty simple design across two of the doors i say that because i'm not panelling them but <laughs> i got super glue for it oh did you when you work, when you do it on this surface it's really hard because you don't really want to ruin the rest of it, whereas you can hide a lot of it on a wall. Yeah. So super glue, I've seen, works really well on stuff like this. And it also helps bring the the, um, the joins together. So we want to do like a design that goes right down. And that works really well, just matches this as well. Yeah, just ties it all together. Brad has also boxed these in whilst I was away. So we've got a skirt on the bottom and they have been lifted up 
and then they'll be boxed in at the top as well there will be coving that goes all the way around here to again tie in with the rest of the rooms like up here there's coving all the way around every room in this house so it just will finish it off nicely and then flooring we got flooring today didn't we oh yeah brad picked out the flooring which is very exciting because this is a zero out of ten if you live in a reno you'll know about the grit and the dust and the dirt the problem we have though is that if we put flooring all the way through here and we get to that stage we're, we've got a lot of stuff to do that side we're going to be dragging a kitchen through it's so difficult knowing what to do when in a reno and this is obviously our second one and i feel like we're still not making mistakes but still learning like it's very easy to start a project and then think oh i probably shouldn't have done that like even this paneling Brad obviously started it and then we were like well we need these on the wall so then Matt had to cut out like a tiny bit but it just means that you then rethink the process that you're doing things in um, but I feel like you'd forever do that with renovating houses so we have the flooring but it's just when we lay it whether we lay it now like we want to lay it now so we have a nice floor but we're going to be dragging things all the way through here to sort these two rooms out so if you haven't seen the other vlogs, then this is where I was explaining about where we were potentially going to extend out here, which again would be amazing. And I do think whoever lands up with this house in the future and buys it, they should absolutely extend because the garden is big enough and stuff. But like I say, when it's not your forever home, you don't really want to invest that much money into it. This will become the kitchen dining area. So we'll take out this wall here and then the kitchen will be in there and like come through into here as well so it's still a very decent space like we'll still make it super nice and everything that we want um but obviously the flooring dilemma is when we do it because i don't want to ruin the nice new floor that we got and it is lovely it's actually from um ids in norwich i will show you guys when we bring it in but i'm just quickly going to grab the wallpaper um because i did actually have quite a few questions on it when i popped the little picture on the screen last time please again ignore the mess renovation life but this is the wallpaper that we got i think realistically i'm showing you this but again you're going to be able to see it better from a picture on screen so i'll pop that here um but it's literally it wasn't that expensive i don't even know where we found this i basically found a picture on pinterest and brad found this that matched it literally perfectly so it's kind of just like a simple like leaf design i'd say but like line drawing leaves um, and from a distance it almost looks a bit like lime wash which I kind of like because the process of lime wash is next level and as much as I'd love to do it literally all over the house I don't have the patience and I'm not asking Brad to do that but I'm excited to pop this on the wall because I feel like you're never going to know exactly what it looks like until it is up so that'll be a job for I think when the lights are on or potentially now Brad would this be easier to wallpaper now when the lights aren't on? yeah I was going to do already thought about that yeah i just need to get dust free before we start doing more paper. yeah the problem is the dust <laughs> that is a little house update for now obviously i'll keep you guys posted on the porch as brad cracks on with it today i'm excited to see what it looks like we can use the little bench to put our shoes on it's true <laughs> i'm gonna sand this and then uh, get on to the porch okay i just want to sand this and get another layer on it because i think it's gonna need it yeah so Not what lucky, but one thing i will say like especially with the noise next door today as well i am so glad i have noise cancelling headphones because the sound of like multi-tools being cut into the walls into brick is deafening <laughs> and i don't know how i would edit or anything or get any work done in this house without my noise cancelling headphones so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and sit in that room while brad sounds this get my work done with my headphones in and not hear a thing so Brad is now sanding, as you can hear, and I've just had to slam this door shut, which I now literally can't get out of because there's no handle, so I'm going to have to knock when I need to leave here. Um, and I've popped a blanket at the bottom because the dust is crazy. I actually don't think you would get it or I can explain it until you've lived in a reno. Like the most frustrating thing is just the dust and the grit that just gets everywhere. It's a lot, but worth it in the end it's got to be done anyway i'm gonna sit and eat my lunch which i'm very excited about because the christmas sandwiches are back i have a turkey and trimmings sandwich from tesco a meal deal got some quavers and a diet coke i'm not even gonna ask you to rate my meal deal because i'm sure some people will be offended by those choices um but yeah i'm gonna eat that and then crack on with my work and now you can appreciate why i love my noise cancelling headphones so much 
I uh, am going to show you the bench now it's nice and clear. Um, kind of been freehand on this because we didn't know what we wanted, but here it is in its former glory. Just painted the walls in a white just to kind of see if there's any more blemishes, but also we weren't sure what colour we were going to go with. I'm going to use the old, potentially the old colour for the other house, um, but that didn't really work for us because it was too yellow. Um, so instead, we've put the cotton white from Rustolium on there just to see what it would look like. And we like it on parts of it, but we don't really like it fully because it looks a bit clinical otherwise. But otherwise, let's show you the bench. Put some hinges on here, and this is what it does it goes up. So yeah, we've got some storage inside. I think we're going to put a couple of like funky tiles in there. And then I guess it's just painting it all. Uh, we're going to go for a particular colour that we found already. Um, that will go up the wall, as Em mentioned. But my next job is to panel this wall. Um, and then panel the bottom of this uh, bench. And then paint it all. It should be done. has just finished up panelling this back wall with this like they're like slats that kind of just slot together which sounds easier than it apparently was I think it was quite fiddly but these will then be painted in the colour that we're doing the bench as well um, which is literally just like an off white but the rest of the room is very bright white so we wanted to make this area a bit of a feature and then obviously we'll have the mirror here as well so that's how it's looking Brad is going to Put a little trim around the edge so it neatens it all up as well. Yeah, get a trim around the top there. I'll probably, mm, yeah, I could probably put a trim around there as well. Maybe trim into the corner. Looks yeah. good. I'll do it, will it? Yep. Great work. Oh, a few bits in there. Look at it though. That is not that. It's so much lighter. It's also warmer. That's great. 